Okay guys, Ryan here from Elite Automotive Diagnostics. Uh, today uh, we have a Citroen Dispatch in the workshop. Uh, the customer themselves again uh, changed the engine. Uh, ever since they've done the engine, the vehicle no longer starts. Okay, so we have checked the fault codes stored in the engine control unit. As you can see, uh, we have fault codes stored for the EGR copy preheat relay, electric re uh, EGR, copy signal and camshaft signal. Now if you crank the vehicle, the vehicle will not start. Okay, every time setting the same codes, it will not clear. So, we started with the camshaft signal sensor, fault code, um, as this was obviously the most logical uh, for us to go and attack. So if we bring you out here, Uh, we are pro in the back probed in the back of the camshaft sensor there. This is actually the supply wire to the camshaft sensor. This should be about 12 volts. Um, as you can see on the multimeter, we have 0.12 volts, thus giving us our issue. So we are missing our supply to the camshaft position sensor. Now, we have a piece of equipment that we can use in order to bypass test the camshaft sensor signal wire. So here we have an Auto Sim Pro. What we can do is we can apply 12 volts straight to the sensor itself. So we've got it set up. So we'll turn it on. And as you can see, we are now on as indicated there. We'll confirm it with the multimeter. As you can see, we are now producing 12 volts straight to that sensor on the on the power feed to it um, so we'll now check to make sure the vehicle we'll do a quick ignition cycle so ignition off ignition on as you can see the vehicle starts so this vehicle has an issue with the power feed going to that sensor if you look at the wiring diagram all of these uh, components actually feed off that same power feed also so now it's a case of finding the power feed but the idea was to show you guys that you can bypass test using this um, for power feeds 5 volt references whatever it is you may need um, again a brilliant piece of equipment uh, it would have saved well it saved me a lot of time today whereas I can do that and now that the vehicle will run when there is the feed fed back into that signal um, sorry, that uh, power feed. Uh, so yeah, just want to show that today, guys. That's pretty much it. I'll now trace down where that power feed is missing, and we we'll go from there. Cheers, bye.